Let's see, Persona 5 Royal got announced for everything. Whatever. Persona 3 Portable getting the same treatment? Who cares, Fez is better anyway. Eternal Punishment PSP now has an English patch? Yes! <laughs> Do you know how annoying it is to have the best version of your favourite JRPG stuck in Japanese? It felt like it was never gonna happen. It got so bad I eventually just played through the damn thing untranslated. Now, the original version wasn't horrible or anything. It was certainly better than Revelations Persona, but it still had some issues. Guys, don't go! Don't leave me alone! Thankfully, there was an undub patch released for the PSX version not too long ago, and another version based on that that reverted some of the Revelations name changes. That was very nice. Unfortunately, it didn't have subtitles for the FMVs, so it was tough to recommend this version as a starting point. For a time, though, this was the best we had, as work on that fabled English PSP patch seemed to drag on forever. I mean, really, I had pretty much given up hope that it was ever going to be released, and I'm sure many others felt the same way. But then a miracle happened. A completely different team came along and beat them to the punch. So now that older translation has been officially cancelled in an ironic twist of fate, Oh dear, what a pity, never mind! It honestly feels surreal to finally have this. Put simply, it feels like the official version we should have had ten years ago. It's not a completely new translation like Innocent Sin received, though. Aside from the additional scenario, it is just the PSX translation with some small improvements here and there. For example, this leaves in a lot of the Japanese honorifics, which I'm sure will be a controversial choice for some, but I welcome them. One very small change in particular completely blew my mind. Noriko calls Anna her sister in the original translation, which is pretty confusing in English because they're not related at all. Here it's simply left as Onesama, which is more clearly a Japanese thing that doesn't imply a blood relation to those in the know. But never mind that. The girl is named Noriko, and she has an Onesama. Holy shit, this character is one giant gunbuster reference all along and I never even realised it. There's also some other nice details, like the mob having their dialogue in Chinese as well as the English translation. The original only provided the latter. I haven't played through the entire game yet, but everything I've seen has been good. It's still that original PSX translation, which contrary to popular belief, was never particularly bad or unfaithful. Would a completely new translation have been nice? Sure. Did we need one? Mm, not really. All we really needed was that old translation in the PSP version, and that's exactly what this is. The additional scenario, on the other hand, is sourced from elsewhere. It's using the same fan translation that I was working from when I made my analysis video. Only now it's been implemented into the actual game, obviously. I can't speak to its accuracy or anything, but it seems pretty good. Imported saves from Innocent Sin work from any region, which I'm fairly certain is a brand new feature that doesn't exist outside of this patch. I mean, it must be, right? I'm too lazy to research it, so I'm just gonna say yes. And of course, those pesky FMVs have finally been subtitled. Eternal Punishment fans are eating good right now. The PSP version is an improvement of the PSX original, but it's still pretty much the same game at the end of the day. If you didn't like it on PSX, then this version probably isn't going to change your mind or anything. It attempts to maintain as much of the original vision as possible, for better or worse. Which to me is a good thing, and the best way of going about a re-release. I know some people these days are clamouring for it to be remade entirely, but personally I hope that never happens. It was made in a particular era with a certain design sense and vision in mind, and that's not something that can ever be replicated. Anyway, this is definitely the new definitive way to play this great JRPG. I'll be leaving links down below for where you can download it. In other news, the next video on the channel should be the ultimate Persona 3 analysis, so you might not see me for a while. That's another reason I decided to upload this video, by the way as a sort of update for those waiting and haven't read the community tab that I rarely use. Yes, it will be a big video. No, I can't give you a release window to mark on your calendars. In the meantime, uh, go play Eternal Punishment PSP. 
and then go watch my analysis videos of it again. Especially the second part, because that one didn't do very well. Anyway, I've been Snickety Slice, I'll see you around.